Okay, this is on the pulley job, number 54603. Install on 4-4 by Jason. Okay. So, come downstairs. We have this furnace room right here. Um, so, the homeowner said he will ins remove this water softener so we can have access. Um, so, the new furnace, the new duct will sit tight against this wall. Um, this is only 8 by 25 and it's a three ton AC so we wanted to get everything we could do to get it bigger um, and it freezes up sometimes um, so we're gonna put you know open this up right here and put panning here and open it up to the wall and put a duckboard header on it that way in the future if they want to add another grill back behind here, it'll be all done and they can put a grill on there. But the freeze up is, I mean, this just isn't a very big drop. But anyway, I was able to make it 10 by 24. Um, and I won't line that, I'll line the bottom here. And that way he just is worried about the sound so anyway if it doesn't work we'll have that for future as per homeowner and jason put in a five inch wide filter box that comes up just as it shows I'm gonna go 10 to nine and a half because we only have nine and a half from here to the wall um i offset back two inches on supply and return um, and up four inches on the front. Then we have two inches on the back. I can't see what's back there, so. Anywho, um, furnace will sit on the base, supply just as it shows. Uh, right five inches. Okay. So, combustion air is okay, there's one over there, your vent, this is going to be the tricky part, run 2 inch PVC out back to flat termination, so you have all these bays, you're going to have to find one that's open, um, and it'll be easier when you can get a ladder in here when this is gone, but you can see you have heat vents and can lights so um this is all blown in insulation so you're gonna have to put tape over your two inch pvc and push it through um but make sure you don't pick one that has can lights in it and of course get your slope up as high as you can outside um, oh, and you're going to have to cap this with a 5-inch strip cap. So, the gas. So, furnace is going to be moved over 5 inches from here. So, your gas, we're going to have to move this. So, we're going to take the drop off right there. We're going to put a 12-inch, 1-inch by 12 and a 90, and a 1 inch by 4, and a 90 to get it down closer to the wall. Um, and then I'll make you a 1 by 36, and then you're going to reuse this, all this existing water heater pipe and caulk. Um, but down here, we're going to, after the caulk, you're going to um, take this out, and you're going to put in a a two inch and a T and then a four and a cap. So that's your drip leg down here. Okay. Otherwise, just we use all that over to the water heater. Your AC. 
I'm not gonna walk out there. It's standard, it's out there. Existing 30 amp breaker. It's okay. Um, you need to flush the line set. It's a three quarter inch line set. Um, new 36 inch pad. Use the disconnect. Drain, just to the floor, standard order. Thermostat, use the existing EcoB thermostat. And I wrote down here, pan site, right side of wall for future return air. So we're not gonna put a grill on the wall, just pan it up as if we were. So they can um, that's it.